So Nate, Nate you just gave a, a fantastic talk at the Academy. Uh, you want to summarize that fantastic talk for us? Well, thanks, Chris. Uh, yeah, sure. So I'm looking at corneal biomechanics and whether they provide the glaucoma or comprehensive ophthalmologist with additional information. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I reviewed the literature, some of the things we've discussed, and I think some of the newest data that's come out of UCSD, uh, Philippe Medeiros mm -hmm. has shown in a prospective longitudinal study uh, that attaining hysteresis measurement at baseline and then following patients for four years that you're going to catch the progressors with a lower hysteresis at baseline. So that establishes it as a prospectively defined glaucoma risk factor, which is a higher level of evidence. And I think that's really the evidence we were looking for to say uh, this isn't an artifact, it's not an association, it's a true risk factor, and probably something like all the other risk factors that we care about, age, disc hemorrhage, IOP, and corneal thickness, should be uh, brought into routine glaucoma management because we need to know which patients are at risk and treat them appropriately. Interesting. They're on the cusp of a whole new paradigm in, in glaucoma. It's very exciting. Nate, I want to thank you for being here today, uh, and I'll see you in New York. <laughs>